Brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today, as every Sunday, when we read and meditate on the texts of the liturgy, we are struck by its relevance, especially in this long period of pandemic, where we're unable to live our faith as usual in our places of worship. Many obstacles and instructions have somewhat undermined our effort in the expression of our faith. The Lord, as in the past, in the face of his gain of apostles and disciples, invites us to overcome fear, the fear of talking about him and his offer of salvation through God the Father. The fear of all disciples is not illusionary. It arises in us in its entire social and individual dimension. Each must give clear and fearless response in the name of our baptismal mission. Should we fear men and women? What proof should we adopt in the face of certain dangers when it is necessary to speak of Jesus Christ and the good news of salvation for all? One thing is certain. To be a disciple, a witness of Christ, or a prophet in the service of the kingdom, one must be in the mindset of Jeremiah, Paul, and others, especially like Jesus Christ. Loyalty, courage, perseverance for the mission must be taken seriously in the face of the risk to any peril of life like Christ and so many other martyrs in the times in all places. Every disciple, all baptized, must hear Christ's call to speak to him of salvation explicitly without fear. This is not a race to commit suicide, to commit martyrdom that would be contrary to the will of God's love. We're not looking for martyrdom. We're suffering it. It is a matter of living one's faith, expressing it, witnessing it, and above all, make it known to the loving and loving to all with respect and freedom for each other. One thing is for sure, Christ will not abandon those who will testify in his name. Christ's call this Sunday must help us free ourselves from the temptation to renounce our faith and give us courage to bear witness, remaining faithful to him and God. His assurance, he assures us that his presence and the assistance of the Holy Spirit, just as the death of Christ is a victory of love, martyrdom must be a testimony of faith, hope, and love. Speak in his name. Speak in the name of Jesus Christ. Trust the truth of our commitment to him and to the one who sent him into our world. We must be credible actors in a common mission, each and every one according to the talents received. The life and difficulties of the prophet Jeremiah in times of unrest and foreign occupation remind us that we must always reawaken our trust in God. We must be ambitious, credible, courageous missionary disciples, convinced that martyrdom is necessary. Not even one of your hairs will be lost. Nothing should detract us from God's love, from his gospel, not persecution, not slander, insults, intimidation, death, or martyrdom. It is all this. We must hold on to the end. We must avoid falling on what kills our soul. The disciples of Christ that we are cannot be shut up and silenced. What we have received from God in Jesus Christ, we must share with those who wish to do so. This is the proposal of faith and not the outrageous and hurtful. We must appeal to the freedom and curiosity of each person. His salvation is universal. On this Sunday, not far from the opening of our places of worship to the public, let us ask the Lord, the Master of Harvest, to free us from fear, from threats, and from illness. Let him make us convinced witnesses true missionary disciples coming together. The death of Jesus is a victory of love for all salvation. Brothers and sisters, the best days are coming. The pandemic is being fought, but it's not over yet. It's going to get better. Let's remain firm, responsible for the health 
of all. Have a good Sunday. Let us all be witnesses in the faith of God. Good health, recovery for the sick. All our prayers go to the grieving families. Our thanks to our donors for our financial survival of our parishes. God bless you all in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And happy Father's Day to all fathers.